Hey guys, Blazin here. So, I thought I was done making content on this game, and, you know, to be frank, I really don't want to make any more Halo Infinite content. I think uh, I'm kind of done with this game, but the reason why I came back is because of what you're seeing right now. What you're seeing right now is a very special mod known as Ringfall. And this was created by an individual known as a GOAT. And that is very fitting, because he is the GOAT for creating this mod that actually fixes my issues with this game. Or at least most of it. What this mod does is pretty much uh, rebalances the weapons. He's also touched up on the movement. And he also touched a bit up on the UI. Well basically he just colored it blue. He not only rebalances weapons in terms of like damages or like very basic like number values he's basically touched up like aim assist and all that shit like magnetism and stuff like he's touched up on that as well and combine that with the movement the overall feel of the game is definitely very different in a good way now i'm gonna take you on to a deep dive on the movement and all the weapons and just as a quick disclaimer none of this is official uh, unfortunately all right let's do this Alright, so just so I can showcase the movement better, and uh, you can even tell by, by the bots, you can see I'm trying to move left and right, and I don't know if it, you can tell from the screen, but I can't, like, I, I can't move, uh, I can't strafe as fast as, like, the default game. Uh, here's a clip of me comparing uh, one of my past videos on Infinite Strafe versus Halo Reach's Strafe. Another thing he did was change how gravity works on the vertical plane. Uh, essentially, he brought back some some of that uh, classic floatiness that the older Halo games used to have, even Halo 5. And I tried to showcase that on various uh, objects I could find and fall off. And again, I don't know if you can tell, but compare this to the default game, you, you're definitely a little bit uh, floatier than uh, default Halo Infinite. And again, I'll probably have uh, a clip from a past video where I pretty much uh, express my problems of the game to say the least. Uh, I'll have those side-to-side uh, side -side comparison. Another thing to note about the movement is that in this mod, he's actually removed Slide from the game. Now, originally Slide was, uh, or at least like, you know, previous builds, he had Slide in. And the cool part about Slide was that he bought back Thrust Sliding from Halo 5 when you combine with Thruster. But since there's no Slide, that means, you know, that ability has gone. But the thruster is still fine, he hasn't really... I don't think he's changed it. And since there's no slide, that also means the ability to curb slide is gone. Which is a good and a bad thing, depending on how you view the, the technique. Uh, I'm a big fan of curb sliding, but, you know, I'm, I'm fine with it being removed. You know what's crazy? There's some people still to this day that don't know what curb sliding is, which is insane to me. Because this... Th that that's a tech that was basically like found in the flight tests like before even the game came out and people still don't know that's insane to me i think that's really funny because uh during the early days of the game when it was out like season one uh, i had plans to create guides about you know the slide tech you know curb sliding and and uh, you know ways to utilize it but uh you know we all know how the this game went uh, who's who's gonna give a shit? This game's kind of washed. All right, anyways, I'm getting off track. Since the removal of slide in this mod, honestly, like without slide and just sprint, I think sprint should just be removed as well. Cause sliding was the you know the main vocal point of the existence of sprint in this particular game. And now without sliding, it's like, what the fuck does sprint do? You don't move like this is the slowest and weakest sprint in the entire series. And which defeats the purpose of sprint because you're supposed to move faster and you know what's the point of sprinting anymore like you don't move that much faster in, in this game when, when you press the sprint button so uh a goat if you're watching this uh, i would remove sprint as well i don't see the point it's like i said it's the slowest sprint in the in the entire series it's nowhere near as fast as reach or four uh yeah i just i just get rid of it Clamber is the only mechanic that makes sense to keep just because Infinite's maps are built around it. And that same logic applied back in Halo 5. And that's pretty much my overall thoughts on the movement on this mod, and, you know, I'm I'm a fan. I'm glad you don't strafe at mock speed. You actually have, like, when using, like, the pistol, and the pistol is uh, the best example, like, you actually, like, you have time to stop and think where your opponent's going to be next, and, like, when to shoot. With Infinite's current, like, you know, 
Infinite's current state, like the way how the game is played, you can't stop and think. You have to spam the shots and and like strafe at the same time in quick succession, and it just leads to, you know, just a messy fight. And speaking of the pistol, let's move on to that next. Let's finally talk about the weapons. Alright, let's talk about the sidekick. So the biggest change he did was actually decrease its rate of fire. Which is funny, because as you may know, the rate of fire was also decreased officially, you know, in the game by 343. Well, guess where they got that idea from? This guy, a goat. Honestly, without uh, a goat, uh, you know, making that change, decreasing the rate of fire, I highly doubt 343 would have done the same. So, the decreased rate of fire idea was actually a goat's idea. So, go thank him. This is actually good because this eliminates Bloom, and by the way, he has not done anything with the damage output. The damage, like, numbers are the same. It's a good change because Bloom is basically no longer a factor, and now it really is all about accuracy. You know, just try to aim in the middle. And even if 343 may have done the same change he did, it doesn't feel as good. And that's just because of Infinite's default movement. Remember what I said back in, like, that one video I ranted? I know I'm getting a little off topic, but I hope that you learned that both player movement and aim are connected, and affect the overall feel of Halo Infinite. Alright, next let's move on to the Assault Rifle, which I'm sure you can tell by its reticle, uh, has received a significant change. Uh, for one, its reticle is basically the Halo 3 reticle, like, uh, the way how the spread works, it's it seems to just feel like Halo Combat Evolved slash Halo 3 Assault Rifle. There is, you can see some bloom, but honestly, from my testings, it really feels like the bloom isn't really, you know, you don't have to worry about it. Like, even if you try and burst it from my testings, it, it just doesn't feel like, you know, there's not much uh, accuracy you can put into the Assault Rifle, you know, on your end. It's just more or less the Halo 3 slash CE Assault Rifle where you kind of just hold the trigger and just pray to kill them. Which, by the way, due to this reticle change, this means the assault rifle will not be getting godlike range and damage output, you know, outside of its effective range, which you can see right now, as I was just trying to shoot the AR at long range, and I'm unable to, which is a good thing, because the AR should not be shooting at long range. Y you'd think 343 would learn from Halo 5. Instead, you'd actually want to pull out your sidekick. Remember what I've been fucking saying? Throughout like past like few videos, but yeah, as you can see, I'm teabagging out of joy because it means the assault, the assault rifle is not the end all be all. I actually have to use the fucking pistol if I want to kill someone at range. Now, when it comes to the precision rifles such as the battle rifle, commando, and uh, even the stalker rifle, honestly, it's kind of hard to tell uh, from the changes. They kind of feel more or less the same. I don't know. I feel like for these kind of guns, I feel like. You I need to actually, like, be in a real match to truly, you know, get a feel for how these guns, well, feel. With the, with the new movement and, you know, aiming adjustments and whatnot. So, I guess I won't really say on them too much. Uh, maybe the Stalker Rifle m may feel a little bit easier to use. Just due to the, you know, probably mostly due to the solar movement. That's all I'll say about the rifles. I feel like the rifles, I'll have to actually, like, try them out in a real match. As for the sniper rifle, well, he fixed the reticle blue. No, no, he didn't improve it, none of that bullshit. No, he fixed it. Like, that means every time the bloom resets, it's, re it's uh, resetting back to the center. So, no more missing no-scope headshots. This means every no-scope is well-earned. Uh, I'll try to move more quickly as I don't want this video to get too long, but uh, the Sentinel Beam, uh, basically the biggest change is there's no recoil. As you can see, the recoil is completely removed. Uh, there's other smaller changes, but that is the biggest change. I personally like the recoil as I thought it added more skill to the gun, but eh, no big deal. As for the Bulldog, all he did was make it function like the classic Halo shotgun. So he slowed down the rate of fire, he buffed up the damage so it's a one-shot kill, or at least a potential one-shot kill, and he also decreased the mag count from 7 to 6. So just classic Halo shotgun. As for the Disruptor, he made some interesting changes. So for one, he slowed down the rate of fire, 
and every three shots it still does the you know electric explosion however as you can see it's much bigger now i'm not sure how i feel about it maybe it's better towards vehicles but hey at least it's uh you know at least he's you know he tried to do something with it it's also a six shot kill from its original nine shot kill Uh, next is the Hydra. Ver uh, very quickly, all he did, as far as I'm aware, was increase the knockback uh, intensity. So you you'll see the bots start to fly up more. And even to the point where I was actually able to uh, basically Hydra jump. Next, the Plaza Pistol, the biggest change he did was he bought back the EMP uh, towards vehicle. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. <laughs> guess what? Just like the sidekick, guess where 343 got that idea from as well? This guy, once again. And that's pretty much all the weapons that have had significant changes. Uh, overall, I'm very pleased with this mod. Uh, this mod makes me feel better about myself because it kind of justifies uh, that one video where I complained about my issues with Halo Infinite, uh, it makes me feel better because I don't feel like I'm crazy. Again, big shout out to a goat for making this mod. I mean, yeah, this is just a glimpse of maybe what Halo Infinite could have been if 343 knew what the actual fuck they were doing. And as far as I'm aware, this project is still being updated. I think the last thing he was doing was uh, messing around with vehicle physics for VTB. So that's cool. Uh, but if you want to follow him, go ahead and uh, subscribe to his YouTube channel. I will leave a link to his trailer for Ringfall uh, at the end of the video. I will also leave a link to... It's funny, because I also want to mention that what a goat's been doing here actually kind of reminds me of what, ha what was going on with Halo 5. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember Mythic Arena back in Halo 5, where it basically just tried to implement more classic gameplay to Halo 5. And that's what this kind of reminds me of. Albeit more like, this is more like, to me, just fixing the game than trying to change the gameplay style. And it kind of reminds me of, the, of what I tried to do when I was inspired by Mythic Arena. If you guys were our longtime viewers, you would remember Tactical Arena, which is something I did a very long time ago. I'll actually link a lot of those, like, in the description. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, uh, subscribe for more content, let a goat know I sent you, and maybe leave your comments down below on what you think of Ringfall. Either what I've showcased or have you tried it yourself. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Till next time, peace.